What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. The day has finally come. It's a sad and somber day for the 3DS and Wii U eShops, but they are closing. And as the time I'm recording this, we're probably around less than 10 minutes from when they're supposed to close. So I figured I would fire them up. We could have one last little hurrah before they're gone forever. Yeah, you hear that? Wii U eShop music, man. Awesome. But look at this. It's a glorious hub for many games and virtual console titles and everything. But soon it shall be closed. I kind of want to see what happens if I'm in the store when it shuts down. So we'll find out. But if we check my other input here, we have the eShop on the 3DS also fired up. But man, of our best sellers, games on sale. Games at a good price, new releases. Got your DLCs, demos, indie games. So many categories. That's so much awesome content. I was kind of sad this shop is supposed to be gone forever. But I figure we can, you know, ride it out together. Listening to the awesome Wii U eShop music. <laughs> And we'll see if it kicks me out when it closes or what happens. As I learned earlier, it's like 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when the shop's going to shut. Well, I figured I would you know, actually check it out and see what it says and see what it looks like when it closes. And see what happens exactly. Man, it's the end of an era. But... Hopefully, everybody purchased whatever they had to purchase. At the beginning of last week, I posted a video kind of walking everybody through how to add funds and buy what you have to buy. But hopefully, you did. Because by the time you're watching this video of mine, it's going to be over. We're only a few minutes away from the shutdown. Uh, I'm curious if I sit in the shop like this, will air pop up once the close happens or if I have to back out and try to go back in and it says you can't I'm sure something will happen or if I try to go to a new page it will say sorry well, let's check out the best sellers while we're here in like the last three minutes <laughs> Ooh, okay spear tracks was well, a top seller nice here we get the Resident Evil 4 Wii edition speaking of that I've been playing the Resident Evil 4 remake on my channel but man, wait, oh, it's on sale for like three bucks. Man, it's crazy. So if you wanted to buy that, hopefully you did before the sale. Or maybe before the shop. It's gonna be gone. Pushmo World people say that's good. Got DuckTales. And it looks like they have all these really cool sales. Price, some of them are because the shop's shut now, maybe. Just to let you get a bunch of games before it's too late in here. Monster Hunter 3. The Wind Waker HD, Twilight Princess HD, I have both of those physically, so doesn't matter. The Metro Prime Trilogy I also own physically, so that doesn't matter. But yeah, of course it's a top seller. That's, those games are awesome. The Minish Cap, yeah, I think that's on the Switch Online now. Man, Joris Mask, sweet. Oh wow. Alright, we're like two minutes away from the closure. Feels like I'm sitting here waiting for the apocalypse to occur or something, just like riding it out, listening to happy music. <laughs> so let's see what happens. Will you at 3DS eShops, you will be missed. All right, we're one minute away. I'm kind of nervous. I'm not sure what's going to happen, if anything's going to happen. If it'll kick me right out or if I have to exit out. But, oh, but I, I just wanted to get one last look at it though. Because this is surely the end of an era. Look at all the virtual console titles, man. Oh, and our systems and stuff. Man. Alright. We're getting close to the end. And the good thing, since I added funds by linking it to my Nintendo Switch account, that $6.15 over there shouldn't go to waste since it's part of my balance that's shared with my Switch. So I can use that to buy a Switch game at some point. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's 8 o'clock. Oh my god. 
All right, nothing has happened yet. Just listen to the happy music. Okay. So until we're still here. Okay, I wonder if I try to go some go to something. No, okay, that still works. Possible, I have to close out of it. Okay, that's still loaded. That page. I don't want to leave. I don't want it to be gone. Oh, oh, oh no, there it is. It happened. Oh, we got that. We still have the music in the background, though. Man, wow. Error code 11190019001. Yeah, all of a sudden everything froze, and I was like, oh no. So here we go, everybody. Unable to connect to the server. Either the server is experiencing high traffic volumes or a server error has occurred. Please try again. To learn more, go there. Yeah. All this information. Yeah. It, the ultimate error has occurred. The shop doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> That's the old old man. Well, at least we got the music. If we never leave the screen, we'll always be able to hear it. <laughs> but let's click OK. Goodbye, Wii U eShop. Oh. Okay, so it's it's like so I'm still here though with the music. That's nice. But I'm sure it's gonna air if I try to do too much. No, okay. Wait. Oh, uh oh, something's happened. Oh wait. Okay. Yeah. See, I'm getting airs like crazy now. Well. All right. Let's fully exit. Goodbye. I will miss you. 3DS here. And the shop is still up, or maybe not up, but at least it didn't kick me out yet. What if I click a button? Yep, oh, there we go. Information has been updated. The Nintendo eShop will now restart. Okay, so it's going to reboot probably because it's been closed, so. That the signal has been sent saying that it shut down. <laughs> so, let's go back over here, though. Oh, it actually loaded. Interesting. I'm sure that's just a temporary thing where eventually it will probably never load again are, are we, we at least probably can i can't buy things even if we can load into it nothing will probably purchase <laughs> oh yeah look at that okay so maybe may the shop still works for now but it says software unavailable man yeah so it looks like we're going to be able to probably load into it at least for the time being except you just can't buy anything if i reload pokemon Section is probably gonna say no software available. Oh, it didn't even work. It just it just failed. Yeah, it doesn't even want to load into that page. Mario. Nope. Sonic. Nope. Yeah, so I'm sure the shop will eventually slowly just disappear fully and we can't even get into it after a while. Maybe they'll push an update to the Wii U just to take the option to even try to load it like away from us, maybe? I don't know. It's possible they'll get rid of their little eShop icon. <laughs> or it won't even let you. Or it'll update the system to give you an always error. But now let's check the 3DS. This is fascinating. <laughs> if we look at this, there's nothing left. I reload it, and now all this here is the Nintendo Selects. Man, let's see what this air, this message is telling us here. I'm just gonna scroll across again here. Man, crazy. Yeah, it is no longer possible to make purchases. In Nintendo eShop for the Nintendo 3DS family of systems. Ah, oh, yep. So it's fully been shut down. We can. Oh, this is kind of sad. But well, okay. There we go. The end of an era. You yeah, see, there's the add funds option, but you can't even. Probably can't buy anything anymore. Let's see if I click the Nintendo Selects. Maybe this will still be there. Okay, so there's this. Maybe they left the Nintendo Selects up. No. Now it says the software is currently not available. So none of this is actually available to purchase anymore. I wonder how you re-download stuff because I I heard you're supposed to still be able to re-download things you already bought. I'm sure one one of these options might get you to. Yeah, you're probably in the menu here. You can. Yeah, you probably go to your software you bought at some point, somewhere in here. And just say you want to re-download something if you ever need to. Man. Well, that's the end of that. But now, one thing, I guess we can check out while we're here. Is if we try to load Pokemon Home, or I'm sorry, I probably 
Charlotte Pokemon Bank, I should say. It should now be a free to use kind of deal. Because of the, you can't add funds anymore, so you should, you should be allowed to just do it, you know? There we go. All right. It's all, no, look at the, oh, now it says free trial period up there instead of like the normal subscription period you would have. And you might not be able to see it great on my capture here, but it says free trial period, question mark for zero days. <laughs> so I assume that just means that, okay, now it's going to be a free trial forever. And you can just always just use it. You don't have to have a subscription anymore. Which that's one good thing that's kind of nice. Because it was kind of a pain to have to pay five bucks a year for this Pokemon Bank that I almost never used, except when I happen to play an older game and I want to move Pokemon up to the new stuff. Then I would have to fire it up and renew if I was lapsed. And now it's just always an infinite free trial, so perfect. Since we all expected they would announce Pokemon games coming to the Nintendo Switch Online service. Since now we got Game Boy titles on there. But they did not announce that. But now I'm hopeful that since the eShop is officially closed and you can no longer buy those games new, that maybe now they'll go ahead and announce it. Yeah, they probably wanted to squeeze every last penny out of people, so they wanted to not tell us they were going to bring them to Switch until after you couldn't buy them here anymore, maybe. So now that we can't buy them anymore on the 3DS, maybe now they'll announce them on Switch. Oh, you know, hopefully. The dream scenario is that they announce and release Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance titles for Nintendo Switch Online. And then they can connect to Pokemon Home, and you can then, you know, play those games and transfer your Pokemon into Home, and then up to the newer games, and it, it all just connects, you know? Then they can kind of just abandon the 3DS, and it won't, won't be as big a deal. But right now, we're in this, like, kind of limbo state, <laughs> where the games can't be purchased anymore on the 3DS, they're not on the Switch, so we're all kind of wondering, what are they going to do? But I guess we'll find out, hopefully. Maybe the next Pokemon Presents, whenever that happens, in a few months from now, probably. Well, everybody, I think I'll wrap up this video for now. I basically just wanted to watch the end of the shop with everybody and see what happens when it's fully closed. And, I, and now we just you know you get like an error for the most part when he tried to open it. So it's it's gone. It's done. It's kaput. But everybody, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and if you're going to miss the eShop. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to help support the channel, I also recently enabled channel memberships. So feel free to join that if you feel so inclined. And I hope you'll have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night, whatever time it might be for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.